What's up guys, it's Friday. That means we got some new rap releases today. Um, and in this video, I wanna talk about the new Yo Gotti album, CM10 Free Game. It's a double album, 22 tracks. I wanna talk a little bit about it. And then at the end of the video, I wanna do a sales prediction, sales projection on what I think it's gonna sell in the first week. So um, let's just go ahead and get the, the big elephant out of the room. Uh, you know, just let's just, just go right through it and just talk about it. Obviously we know the whole Young Dolph situation happened uh, a couple months ago. Yo Gotti was supposed to drop literally, I think a day or two after that situation happened. Um, and then he postponed the album. Uh, he never specifically said why. He didn't uh, specifically say it was because of the Young Dolph situation, but he did postpone it until now. Um, so I already listened to all 22 tracks. Um, it's, a, it, it's a very mature album from Yo Gotti. I'll say that, this isn't a review. But um, he did um, talk about indirectly the Yondoff situation on the first track of Side B. It was called uh, Thinking Hours. Yeah, Thinking Hours. On that song, he does talk about the situation. He doesn't specifically say Young Doff, but listen to the song. You'll catch on to the subliminal lyrics. Um, he basically denies any involvement, uh, which... Obviously, even if he was involved, he's still gonna deny it because who's gonna openly say, yeah, I had something to do with that. Like it would just be um, career suicide and uh, you know, you'd be throwing your life away if you said that. Cause you know, obviously cops and FBI and all that, they do listen to rap lyrics and they'll use it against you. So of course he's gonna say that. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and um, say one way or the other what I believe um, because that's not my place to say. I'm not from Memphis. I'm not involved in Memphis hood politics. I'm not a, a, a gang banger. I don't know if any of them are in gangs. I don't know the situation. Um, I'm a fan of both. If I had to pick who I like better, um, I'd probably say overall Young Dolph has more stuff that I'm a fan of, but I, I'm not gonna pick sides. I'm not gonna not listen to Yo Gotti because you know, that situation upset me and I know they had beef. I'm still gonna listen to Yo Gotti. And as a matter of fact, I was listening to the album, like I said, and uh, at first I'm like, okay, it's the typical Yo Gotti stuff, you know, uh, rapping about, oh, I got Jordans, I got Dior's, I'm buying my girl a Birkin bag, you know, all that swagger talk, you know, that I got a lot of money talk. And I'm like, okay, we've heard this before. But then it gets to the song Crypto. I think that was on the first side. Yeah, Crypto, track number eight. And he said a line on that song where I was like, damn, that was real. He said something about all the guys want a bad looking like a hot girlfriend so bad that they overlook the toxicity that she is bringing to the table and he basically says i'd rather go the opposite way bring a good girl into my world and i 100 percent agree with him on that i've been there i've seen it i've dealt with the girls that are toxic that yeah they may look good on the exterior but they're gonna bring nothing but problems and issues from their past relationships and just from their upbringing and who they are as, as people they're gonna ruin you, they're gonna destroy you, they're gonna bring you down, they're gonna, um, you know, bring you down to their level. It doesn't work the other way. Like, you can't bring a toxic person out of the toxicity. You know, they're gonna bring you into the toxic world. So you gotta be super careful about that. So I love that line. And ever since that, my ears kind of perked up and I started listening more intently. So it's a good album, it's a good album. I, I'm, a, I'm a Yo Gotti fan, been a fan for many years, probably at least a decade a little bit longer than a decade. So um, anyway, what do I think it's gonna sell in the first week? I don't think the numbers are gonna be mind blowing. Uh, it, this was released independently. Uh, not his. The last time he put out was on Epic Records. This is his first one on an independent record label. I think his last one sold about 30K or 35K in the first week, which is pretty good. I think this one's gonna be lower than that. I think it, but he has hardcore fans. So I do think it's gonna do decent and it's got a lot of tracks. It's a double album, 22 tracks. I think that's the most he's ever put on an album or at least for, besides like a mixtape or something. It's been a while, if anything. Uh, usually he keeps it kind of like, you know, on the smaller end of song uh, uh, amounts. So I think this one will probably do about 20 to 25K in the first week, maybe up to 30. I don't really see it going over 30 just because it was released independently, but he's only charging five bucks for it uh, on iTunes. If you want to buy it, it's only five bucks. So that's super cheap. So a lot of people might just go ahead and buy it. But um, I really do think it's gonna be about 20 to 25,000 copies in the first week. So like I said, maybe up to 30 at the most. But anyway, guys, please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a like, let me know in the comments. What do you think uh, about him addressing the Young Dolph situation um, 
but not directly by name. Uh, do you believe what he said? And also let me know what you think is going to sound the first week. And I'll talk to you guys later.